to move on with this process and disregard the courts. So what will the church be calling upon Kenyans to do? What they, will they be calling upon politicians to do? Right now they are in a meeting that is ongoing here at the Ufungamano house and we'll be expecting to hear their voice moving forward. We've also spoken to some of the people who are expected to petition and right now they're telling us that they're putting together these papers including some of those that uh, some of some of the evidence that they will be putting forward is the judgment that was delivered. So we are expecting probably later on today or tomorrow the petition will be forwarded and we'll be getting to hear what is going to be next. But right now we want to hear the voice of the church to reason and feel how is it that they are reasoning and what is the way forward. Remember also, Zainab, as I come back to you, there are those who are insistent on the fact that this is a political process and they will not allow the courts to rule in such a manner and a political process needs political solutions. That is just one side of the coin. And then the other side says that this is not the time for a referendum. So we'll be continuing to hear these various uh, comments that are coming up, but also what will be the way forward with regards to this whole matter. Right now, it's back to you, Zainab. We are just keeping an eye on everything everything that is happening. All right, thank you, Kennedy Muridi, our senior political affairs reporter. What way forward? Very interesting days ahead. Meanwhile, maize farmers in the North Rift region have been in 